Hello and welcome back to The Real Act. We do TV, movie reviews, entertainment news, and so much more. As always, I'm Tucker. Joined today with Ethan and Aiden. How are y'all doing today? Pretty good. Yeah, it's it's going pretty well. I'm excited to talk about some, some nerdy news. Some yeah, nerdy so news. So that's what we got for you today. Some nerdy news of April of 2021. Um, so let's just jump right into it. We got you. Let's start with some DC news. Um, so Helen Mirren... Uh, has been cast as the villain Hesperia. I hope I said that correct. In Shazam, Fear of the Gods. Ron Livingston will replace Billy uh, Crudup as Henry Allen in The Flash um, because of scheduling conflicts. Uh, Pierce Brosnan has been cast as Dr. Fate in Black Adam. Finn Whitrock has been cast as Guy Gardner in the Green Lantern HBO Max series. Uh, Stargirl Season 2 will premiere on April, sorry, August 10th. And has been renewed for season three already. Hasn't even come out. And then we will also be getting DC fandom again this year um, on October 16th, 2021. So a lot of DC news to talk about. Uh, what was your guys' favorite of that bunch? And uh, what were you surprised about? Easy, Dr. Dr. Fate. Yeah. Dr. Fate, Dr. Fate, Dr. Fate. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. On. DC fandom, that's hype. Uh, Green Lantern series, I'm glad we're getting news on that. But- Pierce Brosnan is Dr. Fate. The, the thing uh-huh. is, though, like, I, I think is, I feel like DC fandom worked so well last year. Oh, because there, so was, cause there was it, so it much. Really there, was, there was the Batman. There was Suicide, the Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad, Squad kills the Justice League. Gotham Knights. Like, there was so much stuff. I don't I, know how DC fandom is going to work. So I really don't know how much new stuff there is going to be coming in the next year. So, like, I, I'm... Well, oh, well, there's yeah, so I'm much. So we got so much. I mean, like, by then... Aquaman to the Flash will That's have true. well it gets more Batman, but all, the Flash, Aquaman to Shazam, the too. Green Lantern HBO Max series. Um, I mean, like you know, all the different shows, uh, mm-hmm. Doom Patrol season three, all that will be filming like, or like, will be done big, filming. Like, what's the big thing? Like the Batman was the the big Batman. Thing. Batman. It'll be the Batman again. The Batman still gonna be that out a few months after that. Like yeah. Five. Because when did the Batman come out? Like in next November, week? December, January, February, March. Yeah, five months. Yeah, it comes out in March of next year. Fuck my life. <laughs> we were supposed to get it in like October. a month. <laughs> it was originally supposed to come out in June of this year. Oh, don't do wait. That. No, where's the June of last? No, it was June this year. It was June this year. June of last. Don't make it worse, Tucker. No, All right, right. June of this year. June of this uh, year. But to to get away from DC for a second and go to the other side, Marvel. We got some spicy stuff going there too. So Amelia Clark and Olivia Coleman, two awesome actresses, join Marvel's Secret Invasion. What a headline right there! <laughs> Captain America Four is also in the works. That's another. Thing. We're just going off, right? Captain right. America and the Those White Wolf. Pretty, pretty big, right? Wait, because Captain Marvel Two will now be titled The Marvels. Whoa! Okay, I'll I, actually, I actually really like that title because I, I mean, I didn't really like Cap- Captain Marvel, but like the Marvels, I like that. I'm like, yeah. I feel a little bad for Brie Larson because she's not getting like her like her uh, her like head title there, but it's cool because the Marvels that's gonna I be don't. so cool. I it's really don't. I don't. Kamala, uh, uh, Carol, and uh, Monica. Monica. I was like blanking on her name for a second. Monica on screen at the same time. God, I mean, I'm so excited for Miss Marvel. That's a whole different thing, but yeah, let's. So, and then also Black Panther 2 has a, also has a new title, Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Couldn't have a more fitting title. Um, super, so, I'm, oh, don't. go ahead. Oh, okay. Uh, and then we also got our first footage for Eternals. Uh, we talked a little bit about that in our trailer video, but that looks incredible to me. Chloe Zhao amazing director if you haven't seen nomadland go check that out but it looks like one of the most unique things marvel has ever done if not the most um i, I feel so I feel so bad because like i i really didn't like nomadland that much like i thought it was okay no it's cool i, I get it actually <laughs> there's a lot of people i know that didn't like it and i totally respect it but but chloe's out but chloe's out is, a, is a fantastic director like I, I'm, I'm very excited to see what she does with definitely uh, so marvel you got some spicy stuff going. We're excited next year. Like basically, as soon as we hit, what is it, Loki? I think it's like a home run. <laughs> I, th- I mean, we basically already hit the home run of Disney Plus. As soon as we hit Wandavision, Wandavision, Falcon, 
Right. Uh, one division, I would say maybe she got to like second base, but I would not call that a home run. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. But Falcon, no, but like, on, like I was, I was just, ta- I think I was talking to Ethan about this the other day. Of like, Disney Plus is starting to hit their stride. Like, one division, mm-hmm. Falcon Winter Soldier. Then once Bad Batch is over, then you have Loki. Like, and it's just, I think it's gonna and be what if, and then Miss Marvel, and then Hawkeye, and then oh, Max- and I forgot to put this on the script, but uh, Loki will n- now be premiering on Wednesdays on June 9th. Oh, there you go. Instead of Fridays. So you do not have to stay up an hour and a half to watch the Bad Batch movie. <laughs> I know. That would have been bad. But now God, it's... Because, like, that was the worst. Where I had to stay up to watch Falcon Winter Soldier and Invincible. Like, that was, like, stay up to, like, 1.30 every day. Hey, Invincible came out at, like, 9 o'clock. Yeah. What are you, like, Tucker and I watched Invincible at 11 and then watched Falcon at 12. Oh, yeah. God damn it. How did I not know that? I think they, they released a midnight Eastern time, but, like, Nine o'clock hour time. I think I that's never, what I did. never fucking. I guess All right, let's move on. Let's move on. No, because my friend who lives on the East Coast, he said he watched that at eight o'clock his time. Oh, maybe they released it super early then. Yeah, I think that, that that would make it come out at five. So I was, I was under the presumption that it came out at midnight. So that's what I did, not it, knowing that he's math correctly. Damn, if he's on the East Coast and it premiered at eight for him, we would get it at five. I, bro, I don't, I don't know. Um, it was but, okay. It's um, all right. We forgive you. So this, I, I'm conflicted. So uh, we have a new Transformers movie in the works with, is it Angel Manuel Soto um, as the director uh, and Daredevil writer Marco Ramirez and Anthony Ramos to star, which I'm hesitant about because I it's like so good, Anthony man. Ramos. Don't waste them like that. <laughs> I know. Like uh, Anthony Ramos, he's great in Hamilton. He was great in the Heights. So now I'm just like, like Transformers, that's like I feel like Shia, I even though I like, like Shia LaBeouf and other stuff. Let me Shia look you in the eyes, like Anthony Ramos, Ramos agent. What are you doing to Anthony Ramos? Go get him in a Marvel movie or a DC movie or Star Wars. I don't know. Just get him in something bigger than that. Come on, you got to give him in Transformers. Why? Trans- I, that's still a bit, pretty big franchise. I thought no, Transformers was franchise. dead, bro. That's I thought it was franchise. dead. That's the wrong franchise. I don't know. And I'm also interested to see when, when we get this because Angel Manuel Soto is also going to direct the Blue Beetle movie. So it's interesting to see what's going to come first. Like, he's going to be incredibly busy for the next four years. Wait, okay, um, wait, just to clarify, when you say Daredevil writer, are we talking about Daredevil, Daredevil, or Daredevil? Daredevil, Daredevil, I think. Okay. The Netflix Daredevil. Okay. Just they clear. hired Daredevil. <laughs> because that would be a deciding factor. Of a lot of things. <laughs> I know. Uh, that would be that would be terrible. Please. Gosh. Okay. Uh, a live action okay. Ghost of Tsushima movie is in the works with Chad. The Hell's Gate. The Hell's Gate. My man just says Chad stops like Ben Silent. Chad Stahilski. Chad's direct. Uh, Chad Stahilski did the John Wick movie. So I think this that's a really good um, director like, for this type listen, of movie. Listen to that as, as just. A line talking about a movie. A samurai movie with Chad Stahelski directing it. That would be kind of sick. The guy who made John Wick is making a samurai movie. Dude. That's going to be so cool. Bro. I cannot wait for that. That, yeah, I think that's going to be interesting. I'm excited to, uh, interested to see who they cast because I know, uh, know a lot of people just want the main guy. Yeah, the they can't, they can't it, which that. I, I think care, would be really cool. I think they should totally do that. The guy said he would do it, and he, he made a joke. He was like, I'll show my butt, too, because they did that. <laughs> <in> the- <laughs> oh. When you go in the, in the little pod. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, I, I love the game. I'm excited. So hopefully we get more news on that soon. Uh, a live-action Thundercats movie is in the works with Adam Winger to direct. Adam Winger is also set to direct the next MonsterVerse movie. Um. I will go. You'll see our opinions on Godzilla versus Kong soon. Uh, I don't know how to feel about Adam Wingard, so good for him. I'm glad he's getting work, but uh, I don't know how I feel about him as a director quite yet. Um, but you know, I don't really know much about the Thundercats either. So fans of that, hopefully that's good. And uh, as for the next MonsterVerse movie, I've heard it's a, a Kong sequel. Well. It's more like Kong 3, because Godzilla versus yeah. Kong is already Kong 2. I was about to say the same thing. Yeah. So, uh, but anyway, hope that's good, too. Sorry, I'm a little, like, fueled, you know what I'm saying? All Speaking right. of things that are going to be good, this is definitely not going to be the case. Or, I don't think so. 
So Phoebe Waller-Bridge and Mads Mikkelsen are going to be in Indiana Jones 5. You don't think I, that's going to be good, dude? It's being directed by James Mangold. Uh, Aiden, what is wrong with you? It's Indiana Jones 5. Like, don't fuck with it. Like, it's, I don't it's know. not connected with Shia LaBeouf and Steven Spielberg going off about UFOs. It's It has James Mangold, who made Logan and Ford v. Ferrari. But, but, that's true. And the thing is, okay, I will say that it gives me hope. And I, Mads Mikkelsen. I, I will say, I, I really don't, like, Mads Mikkelsen just seems like a weird fit in this movie, but the thing is, I think the biggest thing is, I mean, like, I just don't know. And the thing is, I don't Dude, know Mads his so I don't Mad. He's going to be the villain, and you know it. He's yeah, but I'm saying, like, I'm just, I don't know how he's going to fit in. But, like, um, the thing I like about James Mangold is that, like, the biggest criticism for me is that they're still using Harrison Ford. It's like, he's too fucking old, but, like, he made it work with Logan, but that's kind of part of the story. I don't know how he's going to handle that with this one. We'll see. We'll see. I so, hope it has an, an interesting title. like Because, because he's Indiana done Indiana Jones and the missing toilet paper during Corona or something like that. Because I know he could do it with Logan, but like Old Man Logan is like an already a well-known story and well-known character. Indiana Jones at this age is completely uncharted territory. So I really don't know what's going to happen. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I'm interested to see how that movie plays out. I think it'll be a, a hit or miss. Uh, Gabriel no, Luna. Freaking great. It's going to suck ass. No in between. I, I think, yeah, I think so. Uh, uh, Gabriel Luna uh, of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and in the recent Terminator movie uh, has been casted as Tommy in the Last of Us series. Um, so glad, you know, they uh, race spent. Uh, yeah, well, it would have been so weird if Joel was Pedro. Yeah, Pedro. Joel. I, I don't know why I blame someone his name. And yeah, then, yeah, that would have been weird. Are you stupid? Like, they're biologically brothers. You know that, right? Like, why would his brother just be a white guy? And, and, yeah, no. Yeah. Perfect cast. Yeah. No, I, seriously, though, like, I, I, it's funny how, like, all of the castings that we were expecting are, like, we were, like, our dream castings are not even close, but at the same well, time fair. I look at it. But, but when I look at it, I'm, like, Damn, that works really yeah, well. How did we Pas- miss that? <laughs> like Pedro Pascal as Joel was never on my radar no. at all. And then when I looked no. at the picture, when I looked at the picture of like the actual Joel like character, the only I worry I have about that is that it could be too similar. I mean, he's playing the same like like uh, father son father daughter dynamic with Mandalorian here. So uh, I'm so hyped. I I no, I know. I mean, I think it's pretty clear that's why they cast him. So we'll see. Uh, We'll see how he does. I'm really excited for that, though. I think there's the only thing for, for Pedro Pascal, at least, is like if he doesn't have the right voice, like the right tone. Hey, of, kiddo. <laughs> no, like it, it needs to be like it needs to have that accent, but also like it needs to be like. Well, I, they might I, change I, that though. That's they true, but like because the connotation or the association I always have with Joel's voice is that like it's very like. I Aiden, I wouldn't count on him being from Texas. I know, but like I'm. Oh. No, I know. Well, okay, but you have to. Here's the thing. Let me. Let's just do it. Go over this really quick before we move on. But this is gonna be different than the game. Like it's not changing stuff from the game. This is a show, adapting the game, right? Like we have to find. It's good that they're changing stuff because if it was the same thing, That's then true. it's just making the game again, but probably not as good. So it's changing stuff for the better, I think, in in for its direction it's going. So I I wouldn't count on things like that staying the same it's gonna be different I, I hope it does i don't know if it will but if it does oh it's gonna be so good so we'll see yeah. uh sorry i like lost my place uh so vin diesel is to start in the, uh the live action rock'em sock'em robots movie who the fuck wait what corporate meeting do they have they'd be like hey guys you know those little things like those little robots you gotta punch it let's make that a movie like what the hell martin scorsese probably left the meeting <laughs> This is syllabus. Why would he even be in that meeting in the first place? He, that'd be like a guy. He was talking movie. with them about uh, Flower Moon or whatever the movie's called. The Netflix. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, uh, I don't care. I, I, <laughs> I don't care. I don't. Next thing. <laughs> Next thing. <laughs> uh, so this, I am very excited for, just because I I love the original. So um, apparently, there's a How I Met Your Mother sequel, which is How I Met Your Father, um, which is going to be on Hulu, uh, starring Hilary Duff. Um, I'm so excited because I absolutely loved How I Met Your Mother. So I- I'm really yeah. excited. I-, I know it's not going to be the same because like having- I, think, like, I don't even think it's connected. I don't know anything about it though. I haven't seen How I Met I'm Your Mother. I don't know how it's going. I feel like it's going to be, I really don't know. But like, I'm assuming it's going to be like 
in this obviously it's gonna be like in the same like kind of universe but like I, it's not gonna have neil patrick harris or jason siegel or any of the main characters from the original or at least i don't think so um i think they'll cameo in it i think no they'll cameo but it's not gonna be main characters like, it's like I, i'm thinking i just thought it's, it could be ted, uh, ted's daughter oh they could do her yeah how i met your father no but then but like, but like, it's her story. Like, like it's a it's oh, a sequel right. series, but it's about her, like how she I met her like, husband and how she met her kid's father. I was like, if it's Ted's son, then don't you already know? <laughs> or Ted's daughter? Like, like wait a second. Yeah. Um, just just a know. thought. Just, just no, a yeah, thought. Yeah. But I love time at your mother, um, so I am very excited about this, and I'm glad really Duff is. I mean, a little weird because they could have just point. moved her series. Disney doesn't make any sense. No, Disney... they don't. All right, next thing. It's fine. No, it's fine. Uh, Invincible has been renewed for season two and Woo! three. Two seasons, two more seasons, and hopefully many more to come. We loved Invincible. It was great. Yeah, like, I'm, I, think, I think also me and Ethan were talking about this when we were supposed to see In the Heights. Um, I feel like it was really good, but I feel like at the same time, seeing people's reaction to the show, like, I'm like, damn, I didn't like it that much. Like, I, it was good, but some people were like, this is the we'll, best. We'll, we'll go over a lot of that in our review. But yeah, it's nonetheless. Which you should go check out right now. Right after you now. watch this video. Absolutely. No, but obviously, all three of us beyond excited for seasons two and three. I, mean, I, I really hope that it's not too far away. Not this year, obviously, but maybe next year, late next year. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But I don't. I, I think we kind of caught uh, Amazon off guard. I don't think they were expecting it to do this well. So I think uh, honestly, yeah, I feel like they were like, "It's a show." Like, well, here's the funny thing about it, really quick. It actually wasn't doing very well at first. It was going under the radar. I think they made the wrong decision of putting it at the same time as Falcon. I think that was a mistake. Yeah. But yeah, right at the end, it just boosted. Everyone just started watching it. The <laughs> Think Mark meme boosted it so much. Like, no, everyone just came in and just started watching Invincible. And now Invincible is like the new Among Us. It's like, do you have Among Us? Do you watch Invincible? No, I'm not. I'm, jo- I'm joking. You're sus just... if you don't watch Invincible. But that's like, that's, I'm, that's, I'm serious also. Like, that's, it's the new trend. Find the imposters. Um, no you way. can quote me on that, guys. Invincible is the new Among Us. That's a terrible quote. <laughs> that would be on Ethan's gravestone. Invincible <laughs> is the new Among Us. Rip like Jesus Rip. Rip. among us, if not invincible, persevering. All right. <laughs> Stop. 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 All right, all right, all right. Okay, I'm gonna look you dead in the eye, camera. Leonardo DiCaprio will star in a remake of another round. Bro, fuck you, bro. So stupid. I don't even feel like giving you the attention to talk. Like, I don't yeah, want to okay. that's, that's the video, video, guys. Thank you. Though. Yeah, no, yeah. but honestly. Because it's also a great sign that, to have the uh, the star casted before uh, you have the director. I know. No, the, look, I just, I'm like baffled. Like, they're literally making this for the dumb Americans who don't know how to read. <laughs> it's like, and dude. I know people get around because they watch Parasite. Movie. Like, come what? on. I know, and they're making that HBO series. I, I think Bong Joon Ho is attached to that, and they said it's yeah. not a remake. That's a weird situation. We don't really understand that yet. This one is. It's all we know is that it's a remake. So that's that's basing stupid. off of that info. Like, listen, if they change stuff and it's a different kind of movie, I, I don't know why it would be. I don't know if it's what it's saying it is. I don't care. I don't want it. I think it's utterly stupid. Like it makes no sense. I don't understand why Leo is doing it. I feel like Leo is the exact opposite kind of person to go for something like this. So it's a little Yeah, weird. yeah. Uh, I'm really hoping that because of his involvement, it means it's different. Thomas Vinterberg gave them the rights to make it, which is weird because the, this, this movie was dedicated to his daughter who tragically passed away. And uh, so I'm just, it just feels weird to me that Thomas Vinterberg would be like, yeah, go remake my movie. I don't know. I just... I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. So we'll have to see. I don't understand. I don't know. I don't get Americans, it. Americans, I tell you, Americans. Oh, yeah, right. Just the worst. So that was our nerdy news of April 2021. What was your favorite part of uh, April and all the news that came out of it? And is there anything we missed that uh, you want to uh, have us know and let everyone else know? 
Put that down in the comments down below. Make sure you like this video, subscribe. This is what you missed. Kanan, um, they retconned it, and I hate it. I hate it, guys. It's the worst. <laughs> all right, shut up, Ethan. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, and send it to all your movie-loving friends. Until then, guys, we'll see you later. Bye. Yeah.